All right, so in this recording, we're going to take a look at how to leverage some CSS uh, to help correct uh, columns in interactive reports. And so you can see here in this interactive report, we've kind of got two issues going on that we're going to resolve uh, using CSS. So for starters down here, uh, we have an individual who's uploaded a white logo, uh, but we've got a white background, which makes it impossible to see. Second, we've got an individual who uploaded an image that's huge, right? And so without styling or formatting uh, in the interactive report embedded, you know, we're going to kind of be all over the map. So uh, let's take a look. So let's take a look real quick on how we can fix it. So for starters, let's go ahead and edit page three. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> share with you a little bit about how uh, the styling works. Um, so in this particular case, we're going to go down uh, to our interactive report. Uh, we're going to go to our CSS, and we're just going to create a new class here called Team Logo. We're going to go ahead and hit, hit Save. All right, now if we go back to our page and do a hard refresh and we inspect the element down here, what, the, what we've essentially done, if I search on the term team logo, is we can see it embedded the logo, right, the CSS class in the div containing all this information. And if we look down here uh, and we go to inspect some, some lower levels, we'll see that eventually we get to a, a table structure down here. And the table structure is actually where our information within the interactive report is stored. And so some of the CSS you'll notice uh, around the table is it uses a, a class called a-irr table. So we'll keep that in mind as we look to uh, do two things, style the, make sure that we have a consistent size for all logos and, and alter the background. All right, so next we're going to go in, and we'll keep this simple to start with, which is how do you modify just to, to lock in the sizes of an image uh, in the report? You know, the quickest, fastest way. Um, and with our team logo set here, we can actually go up to the top of our page, and we'll drop in some inline style right here. And in this case, we're going to grab uh, the team logo. Uh, style and map it to the the next one is going to be the table style table row table data and if there's an image within the table data we're going to put a max width of 30 to start with so let's go ahead and drop that as our inline style go back here we're going to go ahead and hit refresh okay and we'll see what what just happened was that our images are now 30 pixels uh, maximum size tall and we could adjust this but you get the idea it just makes it so you can easily see uh, and maybe we had a maximize function or something later okay but we still haven't fixed the second issue which is how do we um, go in and you know change the background color just for the table table data uh, for our team logo so that these white images uh, will appear so to handle that we're actually going to go down to our team logo uh, and inside of Apex, we have this thing called a static ID. <clears throat> now, the static ID will actually map to the the item over here uh, in our column. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hit save there. So we're gonna assign the static image or the static ID of team image uh, to to this column. Now, once again, we can go back here. Just gonna hit uh, do a hard refresh. I'm gonna expect the element. And one of the things that you'll notice this does is it goes into the table uh, data rows uh, where our, you know, we're showing this particular blob, and it puts the header uh, with that name as well as the aria labeled by uh, data fields in, in, in HTML. So uh, one of the cool things in CSS is you can actually style based on this information. So uh, just like we did before, if we wanted to add a custom style just to that static ID, um, we can do so. If we go back up here, back to our inline styles. And now we're going to essentially look for a team logo where we have a table data where the headers data item uh, on, in the HTML says team image, which is the static that we put. 
and then we're going to modify uh, the background color with an RGB code transparency that's somewhat gray. All right, so I'll go ahead and hit save here. If I come back here, I can hit refresh. And now you'll see that we have the gray background. It's slightly more visible. Maybe I need to adjust it some more, make it a little bit darker, or change the color. Um, but you get the idea. You can create work on your offsets from that point. I'll just flip it real quick to a 7. So it'll stand out. Similarly, maybe make it this a little bit bigger. And there you go. Right. So this will give us just the beginning steps. Clearly, there's more CSS. Clearly, I could have combined uh, the CSS for, for those two items uh, into to complex statements as well. But you get the idea of how you can style an individual uh, column and cells inside of an interactive report.